Good morning, uh, ARE CE 4260. We're starting a new segment in the course. We're gonna be talking about bar cutoffs. Ultimately, what we wanna be able to do is to figure out how long we wanna make the bars. But to do that, the first topic we're going to need to discuss is development length. So uh, let's talk about development length. Uh, I'll share my screen to do that. So here's the concept of development length. Here I have a truck. Okay? It weighs 5.5 uh, kips. And a number three bar has a cross-sectional area of 0.11 square inches. And if it's grade 60 times 60 will be 6.6 .6 kips. So the bar can clearly hold the truck up. The question is, and then so we securely connect that bar to the truck so it, the truck can't come apart from the bar. And that bar goes up into concrete and we embed the bar in the concrete. The question is, would you stand underneath that? And uh, you shouldn't because this might happen. You might, this thing might slip out of the concrete, right? So, uh, Again, you don't want this to happen. The, the bar holds, but it slips out of the concrete. And so that's the concept of development length. Um, you don't want uh, this to happen. And what you need to do then is embed the bar deep enough so that the truck can't fall out. And eventually, if you put enough weight on the bar, so if we put two trucks on the bar, okay, that would be 1,100 pounds, and the bar can hold only, uh, the bar can hold only, what was it, 6,600? And so the bar will break. But the bar breaks before it slips out of the concrete. And so this distance, okay, that distance where uh, the bar will break before it slips out of the concrete is called the development length. Let me write that out. L sub D is called the development length. The name comes from, this is the length that the, will develop the full strength of the bar. And so where, where you would never do something like this, like hang a truck from a ceiling with a bar, where, where would you do something like that? And here, here's the motivation for this. When you push down on this cantilever here, right? Uh, you're going to have tension on the top, compression on the bottom, and uh, it, it wants to break off from the column. The beam wants to break off from the column. And so what's going to happen, or what it's trying to do, is that tension is trying to break off from, from the column, and this bar is in tension. So you're pulling on this bar and you can pull with quite a significant force on this bar. And this distance here needs to be greater than the development length or that bar will just slip out just like this right here, okay? Just like this. So if that bar is not embedded deep enough into the beam, that bar will slip out. And what's gonna happen is that the beam will just peel off of the column and the bar won't hold. There's also, because of Newton's second law, equal and opposite force, right? There, there, there's a tension on this side as well. And this will not be, uh, that'll be less than LD. That's not gonna be long enough. 
And to help us hold on to the bar so the bar doesn't come out of the column, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook that bar over. And even that uh, needs to have a certain length or it will also unwrap and pull out of the column. It'll straighten out and pull out of the column. It's hard to believe, but that can happen. Uh, what, what really might happen is the tail end of this, it might bend up like this as it straightens out, pop the concrete off, and then the whole bar will pull out. Anyway, this is a concept of development length. We need to have enough bar length to hold on to the bar, enough grip so that you would break the bar because you made all your calculations based on this, right? T equals F-Y-A-S. So you need enough length so you can develop the full yield strength in the bar before it slips out, the development length. Okay, and uh, that's gonna be the topic we talk about next. And we'll talk about the straight bars first, then we'll talk about the hooks. Uh, the next video, we'll talk about straight bars.